Hello, my name's Ruth Gowdy, I'm the flower writer. Today I'm going to talk about stinging nettles and why they symbolise protection. Most of us have bad experiences of stinging nettles. I know as a child I was always getting stung. You soon learn to avoid a stinging nettle, but when you look at them they even look fierce. They've got tall spires, they look like spears even, and they've got sharp pointy leaves. But when you turn the leaf up underneath and on the stem, they've got really tiny, tiny needles of hairs. And those hairs, when they puncture the skin, they give you a shot of histamine that we all react to and get rashes. And that's why they call stinging nettles. So why they're called protection is for that very reason you'd be an absolute idiot to plough your way through all these stinging nettles. And whenever I see them, it makes me realise that they're giving me that protection, they're reminding me that they're there for me, because they don't just um, protect you by stinging, they also have lots of goodness in them that can help you and heal you too. So stinging nettles are not to be confused with red nettles and white nettles. Stinging nettles do have a flower, but it's very different. It's like seeds heads, little tiny seed heads. The white nettle and the red nettle are actually from a different family, but they often grow nearby the stinging nettles and they're often confused, but they don't have the sharp sting to them. And that's why they're called dead nettles. So when the Romans came over, they used to use the nettles to sting themselves because they were so cold in our climate and they would rub them on their bare legs and cause the rash and cause the heat and the circulation to warm them up and make them feel better. Personally, I don't really like getting stung. Um, and one of the wonderful things I find about nature is that right next door to your stinging nettle is usually a dock leaf. So as a child, I was told to stop making a fuss and go and find a duck leaf. And they're lovely, fleshy, juicy leaves that you can lay over that rash and it's meant to reduce the inflammation. I don't know really whether it does or not, but I know as a mum, I would use the same ploy because I think it takes your mind off it. So what else do stinging nettles do for us? They are fantastic for wildlife. Firstly, when you come sometimes you'll find the stinging nettles smothered in caterpillars and they're very important for certain butterflies like the comma and the peacock and the tortoise shell. And there's these fantastic black scary caterpillars with spines that match the spikiness of the nettle. If you're a gardener, you'll know that you can make fantastic nettle tea, not to drink, but for, to put on your plants because they're rich in nitrogen and they're gonna do your plants loads of good. But better than that, aphids love the stinging nettles. So if you've got nettles in your garden, they're also protecting all the crops that you want to grow because rather than being on the crops that you want to eat, they'll be on the stinging nettles. The ladybirds will love eating all those aphids. Besides that, the stinging nettle has so many vitamins and minerals that it's really good for us. So nettles are good for circulation, they're an anti-inflammatory, they're good for rheumatism. So you may want to pick nettle to use to make tea or in food. And um, I don't wear gloves, but I think it's probably because I've picked been stung so many times in my life I do I've developed a bit of an insensitivity to it um, so you may prefer to use gloves so if you break the hairs that's when the little needle will prick your skin and um, cause the rash so you look at the direction of the hairs and you almost lift the nettle when you're picking it and you just do it gently and firmly and then I find it doesn't hurt at all and I always ask permission after all, if you're dealing with a scary plant or a scary person, you're always polite and careful around it. Nettle tea is so easy, even I can do it, and I'm not a herbalist. So you literally want to pinch the top few leaves out of the nettle. They need to be the tender shoots, and there mustn't be flower there. Once there's flower, it means it's time for the nettle, not time for you. So 
pick the stinging nettles when they're young, just the top, say four leaves, in one pinch and place about four tops into a container, a teapot or even just a mug and you pour water once it's just over the boil. You don't want to use boiling water and you leave it to seep for three to four minutes and when you pour it out it'll be a beautiful refreshing cup of nettle tea. So always remember when you buy the nettles they are there for your protection and your energy and your well-being and the environment and the world around you. It reminds me of the quote from Shakespeare that says, out of this nettle danger we pluck this flower safety. <laughs>